All right, we're here at 4571 Alumni Avenue in Los Angeles, 90041. Uh, we're, this is a triplex over here, and uh, we're going to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. We started off by running our camera from the 4-inch clean-out located where the pipe exits the main house in the front. It's like a T, a two-way kind of cleaner, which we'll hopefully be able to run our camera upstream. I just want to let you know that we did have a look underneath the house. It doesn't really look like the plumbing was done correctly. So we highly recommend that you get a plumber or someone to check the plumbing over here. We're here to check the main sewer line, and obviously we cannot check every pipe in the house. So we have our camera in the line and we're all the way out to the city connection in the street. There's the city sewer flowing by there. So we're going to bring the camera back here. Uh, looks like the city put a new Y in there and a little piece of pipe. So that's all brand new over there and that comes back to the original pipe. Kicked it a little there. It's a little shifted over there. A uh, little crap. I mean the thing is, it's, uh, in my, this is strictly based on my opinion. Now, somebody else may have a different opinion, but this, in my opinion, it's it's a little bit shifted over there because of the turn over there, and that's what you're going to find a lot with a clay pipe, especially with cement joints. That's not really um, preventing water or anything like that. It's not stopping the flow of the water. So, in my opinion, this is still okay. Coming back up because if you look at the big picture, the whole line is pretty clear. So if we're going to see a little crack now, what's happening here is making 245 degree turn. It's very possible there might be a storm drain uh, again over here. See a little dislocation. That's very common for a clay pipe with cement joints. It's probably dodging a, a storm drain or something. That's why I took those 245. But if you look at the big picture here, the, the line is clear. A little bit of mortar at the joints. Uh, this line is fully functioning, there's no doubt about it, and I doubt very much that it's leaking, it's just little offsets on the, on the 45 degree turns and that's very common. So coming back here you see the line's very clean, I mean there's no major big hole, there's no major roots, the pipe hasn't collapsed or anything, little shifts in the line are very common. You're going to see that wherever you go. It comes onto the property over here, changes to a 4-inch clay pipe. And coming back over here, it's a little cracked over there. And that's right at the property line over there. But if you look, you see the water still sitting there. I mean, that is a little cracked. It is underneath the driveway, uh, this brand new driveway over here. Um, we're going to give you an estimate for a repair over there because that's... That, Honestly, I, in my opinion, um, I don't think that's really even leaking or anything. No, but it is cracked. But it is a little cracked there, a little broken. That's at the bottom of the pipe. So we'll give you an estimate for that. However, this is a brand new driveway. And that's uh, when we give the estimates just for a little patch. Coming back, you can see the clay pipe is in good condition. And uh, there's no roots or anything getting into the line. A little surface cracks over here, that's very common, you're going to find that. On the whole, this, this sewer line is functioning very, very well. And that probably is never really going to be a problem. But this is very clean, the line. Is it all clay, the whole way? Outside so far, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So here it's going to turn, the back unit ties in. that's where the back unit ties in, the main line going underneath the driveway. Little, little section of cast iron pipe over here, in my opinion this looks pretty good, it's still nice and round. As we come out of the clean out here, I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, so running the camera upstream, we've come to the end of the line, now remember we're only checking the main line. This is all ABS plastic over here, it comes back to the end of the line. As we come back, you can see the connections along the way. This all looks good. 
Now, right over here, coming underneath the actual foundation of the house, a section of cast iron pipes getting pretty old over here. Why they never changed this when they were replacing the pipe and put this clean out in over here uh, is, well, what is all this here? Is there fitting? There's a fitting picking up this right uh, here. So you'd have to open all this oh concrete. Yeah. And you see, that's a very old cast iron pipe over there. Uh, it's functioning. However, we're going to recommend that to be replaced also. But it is functioning, and the clean-out is going in two directions. We're going to stop, pause the recording. Okay, so we're running our camera from a 4-inch clean-out located underneath the house at the back. Not a very good place to have a clean-out. Um, but looking at the plumbing underneath there as well, you can see it definitely wasn't done by a plumber, so we highly recommend you get a plumber over here to check the plumbing. Um, <coughs> We're running the camera from the 4-inch clean-out underneath the house. We're all the way out to the connection. Where they're right there is where the connection to the front house. And now we're coming back. It's a continuation of this 4-inch clay pipe. Coming up the driveway. It all looks pretty good so far. Pretty clean so far. Slow down now. We've got a little bit of roots coming in at the joint over here. Very minor roots, nothing major or anything like that. Coming back. Again, we've got a little bit of roots coming in here at the joints as it turns. Now, the section of cast iron pipe they left alone. Very old piece of cast iron pipe running underneath the foundation and the outside and then to the ABS plastic right over there so uh, the this this um, back house they should have brought the pipe out to replace that section of cast iron and put a clean out on the outside of the house that's what should have been done um, we'll pretty much go ahead and stop the recording over here